There are four different types of power assist devices that you can put onto a manual wheelchair. You can do the front attachment, like that one over there. You can do the rear attachment that sits on the back. You can do the push room activated and you can do the joystick activated. But now there's a fifth one. We don't put it on the chair, it is a part of the chair. In fact, it's a new part of revolutionary technology to bring into the wheelchair space. Andrew, what am I talking about? You're talking about hybrid. Yes. Hybrid is the new thing. So this is the Phoenix Eye. It's a lightweight hybrid. The front wheels on this chair are electric, which means that everything that you do, whether going forwards, backwards, inside, outside, up a hill, down a hill, you've got assist. Assist with power to move forwards, assist with braking to help you going downhill, braking to quickly stop. Movement is so easy. There you are, you stop. Literally brakes as well. This, is, all this is a six and a half kilogram transfer weight with the power assist. Lift the battery out, you've got six and a half kilos. Even with the power assist in it, you can pick it up quite easily and throw it into the car. So this chair on its transfer weight is lighter than a lot of the power assist devices on their own. Amazing. How did you do and that? Well, we made it out of carbon fiber. We use very small, high powered front wheel motors. So you might think those are little wheels are gonna get stuck, but because these wheels have their own propulsion, they drive over stone chips, paving slabs that are sluice, all these kind of obstacles that a conventional front wheel will get stuck on. Yes. These keep going. Yes. They're... They've got their own drive all the time. So whatever you hit, they just keep going. And I find with the, with the three attachments, with joystick, push rim and rear attachment, you're always gonna have that limitation of the caster going over an obstacle. And that's why I've always liked the front attachments because then these casters go off the ground and away you go. But the fact now that you've made the casters, the front wheel, now we're pulling you're ourselves. Pulling. So you're pulling and you're pushing. So your six and a half kilogram chair has got four wheel drive. Amazing. I Absolutely. can go over gravel, thick grass, deep carpet, like all the hotels have. No problem. You just no turn up the power and it just goes through it. And it just matches and there's no like separate controller to it. You just, you just have this, which you, you, you set your speed and then you just tool on your hands. You and just push and it starts. Everything and that you do. If you want to go faster, you turn up to go faster. But I can hear that. Sorry, sir. Whoop. Amazing. What's it done for you? This has changed my life. Really? Oh God, I've used a chair for 41 years. Yeah. This year is 41 years. I've had a lot of chairs in that time. None of them have made any measurable difference to my life over the previous one. This is revolutionary. I, I do everything so much easier now. Awesome. Walking the dog, going to the supermarket, carrying my tea across the lounge. I, it's, it's changed everything. It's changed. So it looks awesome. It does it not look really good. It looks very cool. That's it looks, a, looks totally up to date in design. Like We've it. not made it with right angles and tubes, which I never thought looked very good against mm. the body. This is curved like your body is. Well, I like as well, Chris has got your carbon fiber. I kind of like the bit of flex as well. Yeah, so if you want to carbon move fiber backrest. So that you're not it, stuck into one it position. It moves with you. The nice thing about carbon is you can load it in certain areas to make it stiff in some areas and less stiff in others. Yeah. So that's what we've done with the backrest. Amazing job, mate. Amazing job. And pretty service-free. service, service free. I mean, you got to change these, change that. Any parts, electronic parts that have a failure, you literally unplug them, plug in a new one. And what if my battery dies and I need to get a new one? Do I need to go back to the supplier? Well, battery supply, it's an interchangeable battery. So if I pop my battery out, that's the battery. I plug in another battery if I've run out of power. And if I want to get a new battery, these are readily available at a, hardware, at a hardware store. At a hardware store, you yeah. Um, and you if you do, say you go on holiday and you forget your charger, use it as a manual chair. Yeah, you can just freewheel it and away you go. Yeah. Amazing, Andrew. That's Looks it. good, feels good. Well done, mate. Oh, All right. <laughs>